Today I'm going to visit uh, Casco Viejo and um, for that reason I looked out for a hotel closer to Casco Viejo like in a walking distance because I like to walk um, but I made a reservation for Hotel Doral it's closer it's quite close to Casco Viejo and I am really surprised <clears throat> I paid about $25 which is you know three times nothing um, it's quite okay, it's old-fashioned, I don't care because, you know, I just stay here to sleep. But I have to uh, give you a little tour around because for $25, which is less than 20 euros, it's surprisingly well equipped. So, here we go. So this is the entrance. This is a cupboard where you can put your clothes away. And this is the room. I mean, for only $25, it's crazy well equipped. I have even airco and a desk and even TV all for $25. This is crazy. And the view is quite okay. I know that not everybody will be uh, happy to see this, but for me, um, for now, the important thing is that I can sleep and that I have Wi-Fi, which is very important for a YouTuber or at least a starting YouTuber. So, uh, and it's close to Casco Viejo. You know, I can walk around all day and then come back in the evening. The only um, negative thing about the um, Hotel Doral, it's not the hotel itself because they're super friendly, really super friendly, but the area looks a little bit more dangerous than the area where I come from, which was El Cangrejo. I know that the district right to the Casco Viejo is a little more dangerous, but, you know, I'm going to have to figure out, but I'm loving this. So, um, we see each other in Casco Viejo. Café Coca-Cola is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has been around since 1875. This neighborhood is close to Casco Viejo and is called Santa Ana. Several renovation projects are taking place, but at the moment this neighborhood is not so safe to walk around on your own. So it's recommended to stay around the Santa Ana Plaza. Where I am now is not really Casco Viejo, it's just um, the district before. It looks very interesting, but a little dangerous at the same time. So, I made a few um, video clips, but I'm definitely not staying here. Um, but it's, um, it's, an, it's an amazing area, because nature grows even out of the houses. This is the American Heritage Trade Hotel. The building, from 1917, was completely renovated and is now a hip, modern, upper-class hotel. I'm here in uh, Casco Viejo now, and I know that I'm filming with the sun behind me, which is not good, but the building behind me really impresses me. The building appears to serve as a party and meeting room and is owned by the American Heritage Trade Hotel, which I discussed earlier in the video. The Catholic Church, Our Lady of Mercy, was built in the original Casco Viejo. The church is also the guardian of the statue of Virgin de la Caridad del Cobre. Panama is one of the best countries in the world when it comes to growing coffee. Unido was originally founded to introduce the Panamanians to the processes, cultivation and preparation of good coffee. Today, Unido is very popular and has a hip audience. Unido has several locations in the city whose interior architecture closely reflects the culture of the neighborhood where it is located. This is Plazoleta dos de Enero, from where you can see Panama's most famous rooftop bar in the distance. La Zotea by Jorge Rauch consists of a Latin American class restaurant with a menu consisting of refined meats, shellfish and tacos among other things. This is how it looks like in Casco Viejo and when I move a little bit around this is the other part. 
of Panama. How romantic is this? <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Lovely, isn't it? From the Plaza V Centenaria, you have a beautiful view over Casco Viejo. This is probably one of the benefits we have from the pandemic, is that there is like almost no tourism. So yeah, we can only try to enjoy that. If you don't know how the plaza is called, it's, the name is just behind me. After the foundation of the new city of Panama, Palacio Bolivar, the temple and convent of the Franciscans are built in front of the beach of Santo Domingo. The first Hotel Colombia ever served as a shelter for Colombian travelers who came to Panama for medical treatment from North American doctors. Today, the building consists of 16 apartments. Gotta be in the picture. And do you want to know what's behind me? Okay. Let's turn a little more. And then this is the view. scary for me because I'm actually not standing on the sidewalk I'm like on a little platform where there used to be some sort of captain standing here watching over the sea the islands in the back that you can see um, I'm going to visit them or I probably have visited them already. If that is the case, you can see the links somewhere here or somewhere here. They called Flamengo, Causeway and Naus Island. So 
In the distance, you see Isla Naos, Isla Flamenco, and Isla Perico. They are connected to the land by a motorway. All three islands have a certain purpose, with Isla Flamenco being the port of departure to Taboga Island. The brilliantly colored building is the Bayon Museum, designed by Frank Gehry. The museum houses the wildlife and its history of Panama. It was the very first building in Latin America for Frank Gehry. This is Paseo La Bovedas. It was originally the defense wall after the attacks of the pirate James Morgan. No, not the whiskey, and no, not the American football player. The hill you can see over there, that's Ancon Hill, where you have like the highest located and biggest flag they have here in Panama. Um, one of these days I try to go there and visit the flag of Panama. Finca del Mar is one of the coziest restaurants in this area with beautiful decorations and hammocks to laze in. It is located near the Playa El Tuco. I'm uh, still in Casco Viejo. I found like a very, very tiny street, quite dark. I um, did a walk till the end of the, of the small street and it ends up on the beach. It's crazy. And just over there, you can see um, people play basketball. The atmosphere is really, really crazy. I'm loving this so much. Even the graffiti, like, you know, beautiful. <laughs> 